Mm-hmm. Action. Hi, I'm Bill. I'm Lori. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. And we're here. Welcome back. We're happy to be, be back. back. <laughs> uh, just a couple of uh, thoughts before we get started here tonight to all our subscribers. Thank you for uh, sticking with us while we were down for a couple of months due to our, our refrigerator. Uh, we're back at 100%, so everything's uh, looking uh, great there. And then uh, just kind of give you a little recap if you're new to the channel. Uh, we're going to pick back up on some of the journeys uh, that we were uh, working on, one of them being doing the perfect uh, Neapolitan pizza. We got to the fifth pizza, which was kind of a disaster, so we're going to pick back up on that. And then we're also going to start um, picking uh, selected recipes out of this book, uh, Cooking with Fire. This is for, uh, published by, I guess, Uni. Uni. Uh, and they sent uh, this to us as a gift. So we're going to start uh, using this uh, for some of our uh, future videos. So Lori, uh, and while Lori had kind of given you an, uh, some insight on what she's going to be working on here tonight, I'm going to pop some champagne and we're going to have a toast to our subscribers, our new viewers, uh, just to say thank you and that we're happy to be back. So take it away, Lori. Uh, well, I always wanted to make a uh, pizza dough with either a poolish or a biga. And so I found this recipe, um, Weekend Bakery. I'm not quite sure, I, maybe I messed up the name, but uh, this is a poolish recipe. So that's, uh, it's been pre-fermented and uh, it seems really easy. And there's a real benefit to being able to just ferment your, uh, your do your pre-fermentation and prepare your dough and uh, all, there's no really delay. It's only an hour after you make the pool that you can make your pizza dough. And maybe before you get started, let's do a quick toast. Oh, okay. Again, uh, thank you to our subscribers yes. for sticking with us. Our new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. And if you're a new viewer, thank you for checking out our channel. And uh, if you like this kind of content, please give us a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. And to you, dear. Cheers. Setting everything up again. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Okay. okay. Well, it's winter's here, so it's a little bit colder than before. Yeah, which is, I think we're going to learn some things about our uni oven, maybe a little bit. Um, it's, first of all, it's been great. Um, and now that we're getting colder weather, uh, it'll be interesting to see if we have to vary any of our times. Well, uh, I noticed that uh, some people are live in really cold climates, and uh, we'll see if there's any difference in how it is cooking in cold weather. Yeah, we are very fortunate here in San Mateo, California. We're at uh, 37 degrees um, latitude, uh, and uh, so we're pretty temperate here. Uh, year round so we'll see how this winter goes but uh, right now I've warmed this oven up for probably been on a half an hour on high and as our standard procedure when we put this uh, pizza in I'm gonna turn it down to the low setting and um, see how it works out I'm trying to look at some of the ways other people are stretched out their dough Boy, you don't look too rusty for not having pressed out a pizza in a, <laughs> in a couple of months, Lori. Lori has been learning how to play guitar. So maybe we can get her with her guitar out here one night. We'll see. I know Geppato always has some really cool music on his videos. And so does uh, Ray at uh, Ray's Delicacies. And so <laughs> maybe we'll have some music <laughs> ourselves. Okay, let's see. So are you going that? to transfer it now or? Uh, no, I'm going to put Okay, you're this... going to make it more there? Yeah. Okay. And then when we do transfer it onto the wooden peel, mm -hmm. uh, then we'll we'll take this one down. Do you think this is big enough? I think it's big enough for, okay. for our purposes. And we've kind of gotten into the habit now of using a wooden peel to launch. And then we... Uh, we use our 14 inch uh, uni peel to turn uh, now. I basically like s 
sliding the peel in, taking the pizza out, and turning it by hand uh, 180 degrees. Um, this is a very good peel too, the turning peel, but I've just been getting a little bit more comfortable uh, using the 14-inch uh, peel um, for turning the pie. And Bill's starting to really like having cheese on top of his toppings. Yeah. So we'll be doing that too. Oh, I thought we were going to make a pretty much uh Yeah, but you can we still can still put okay. the cheese on top, All right? right? Cuz that's what you'd like. When we're testing out new doughs, uh mm -hmm. we're trying to keep the toppings very simple and standard. Yeah. And so that way we can uh, make a better comparison. Kind of focus on the taste of the uh of the crust. Well, this poolish was very easy to to work with, I think. Yeah, and if and we, I was kind of concerned about it, but and if it turns out great, then we'll probably just make a short video on how to uh, do the poolish. But uh, there's so much information already out there that uh, it's easy to find. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're going to transfer onto here. Yep. Okay, do you want to... Okay. Make it round. Okay. Okay. Remember your step. We have to remember what our process is. <laughs> and, um... Uh, I launch a little bit differently. Before I just used to go like this, but now I kind of just move the peel a little bit and, and back it off. And that seems to be working out pretty good. Interesting, uh, with this peel being above the oven, it's kind of warmed up, so. So I like to take it out and then I like to try to put it right back in the same spot. So you you didn't mention that you did turn the uh, oven down. I did turn it to low. That's kind of our, um, our approach these days. And what I like is when I take the pizza all the way out onto this peel, I get to look at it and I can make sure I get it 180. Um, and I think that's going to be important to our success when we uh, pick back up on doing Neapolitan pizzas. Well, it looks pretty good. Think? I. Do you think we need another turn? or No, no? I think that's... Uh, I think that's about it. So if you want to I'll put, uh, put that rack. board down and then we'll put the rack up there. Okay. Oh, you want me to take the... Well, maybe so we don't have as much flour. You could probably put it right down there. Okay. I'll put the rack. Okay, not Charm, too bad. Really I know nice. it's char, but I mean, that's not the end of the world. Mm, looks good. And again, we use the rack, tip from one of our viewers. Uh, um, so it kind of. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's his code name. <laughs> RBIV25. Uh, putting it on, our, we like our crust a little bit crispier. Um, and so he uh, gave us a tip of putting it on a rack, letting it stand for a little bit. Okay, uh, should we? Uh, sure, let's do it. Okay, here. And another gift we got from Uni was this rocker blade, which we really like to use too. Yeah, I mean, um, we had uh, purchased another uh, pizza cutter uh, it was a good value, uh, inexpensive, 
Um, but it had some flex in it and everything. This thing is really rock solid and um, really enjoy it. So I want to do a comparison between a Polish dough and which is pre-fermented and a uh, our sourdough, our favorite sourdough recipe from Patrick Ryan. So let's give it a taste. Well, okay. what do you think of the risers? I, I think we're cooked. I think the dough is cooked. Good. It's nice and thin, which is kind of how I like my pizzas. Mm -hmm. So mm. this recipe has no oil, nothing in it, just salt. Mmm, good. Good. And again, you kind of, in a general sense, mix a small amount, mm -hmm. let that all get hydrated, and then introduce that sometime later into the bigger flour bowl. Right. Mix that up. Mm -hmm. And it's then let it sit for, or proof or whatever for... for only an hour. Mm -hmm. You know, compared to, you do all the, the rising or the uh, proofing ahead of time. Mm. And this one was 18 hours ahead, but you can make it as uh, short as eight. I like it. Very good. And um, take a look at the bottom of the crust there. Very mm. tasty. Okay. So what do you, what's your, uh, let's kind of summarize things and uh, kind of Well, the wrap dough up. was really easy to make. I don't know if um, this is standard, it's my first time, but I really like it. Good. Mm. How about the flavor? Mm. Well, it doesn't have the sourdough flavor. Um, I don't I don't know if, uh, if a biga, which is another pre-fermentation, might have a more flavor, I don't know. But it's very good. Okay. Oh, it's so easy. And any first time pizza maker, I think this would be a good dough for them. Okay. Very little handling. Well, you know, I think I might have got our champagne glasses mixed up. I think so. Which one do you think is yours? I think this I think one is yours. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so. Very good. This is a poolish. Mm hmm. Poolish. Um, very easy to make as mm -hmm. far as you're concerned. This proof for what? Two hours? Well, we, it's, the recipe says you only need to let it proof for one hour, but we wanted to have it for dinner, so we let it proof an extra hour. Okay. And uh, I enjoy the taste. Mm -hmm. I think it cooks well. Mm -hmm. um, Very easy to stretch out. Yeah, you're able to stretch it out nice and thin, mm -hmm. uh, which I like. So um, I guess we'll use this uh, some more, huh, in, uh, in, in the future? Well, I'm going to do a comparison between this poolish and it's kind of similar to Patrick Ryan's uh, I Love Ireland recipe, which is, but at the fermentation time, I mean, this it was just as simple, but uh, you let it sit overnight. But I kind of like the sourdough flavor, that's, that's all. Okay, so why don't we wrap it up? So again, uh, it's great to be back. To our subscribers, thank you for sticking with us while we were away. To our new subscribers, welcome. To, if you just checked in to view our video, thank you. We really appreciate it. Uh, what drives this channel are comments and questions. Um, that's the process through which we learn. Mm -hmm. And then people can share knowledge with each other. So, so uh, if you like our content, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Yeah, is it like smash the like or something <laughs> like that they say? or something? Well, like that's that. Vito. Oh, that's Vito. But, you know, we can always do that too. Thanks. And if you're thinking about an Unicoda 16 based upon our experience, it's just been a lot of fun and it does a fantastic job. And we don't even order out pizza anymore. The taste, I mean, is just fantastic. And you get to vary uh, what you have by the doughs that you make. We've even cooked homemade um, star-bought dough in this thing. It's, it's just a fantastic uh, 
um, appliance to have in your outdoor uh, arsenal. So you know, when we were uh, uh, we did try a, a, re a pizza made in the oven, and it doesn't compare at all. Yeah. <laughs> no. But that is how we started uh, doing oven pizzas. Oh, no, pizzas. we just had it, remember? We just no, tried. I know that, oh. but that's how we started after oh, right. our trip to Italy, where we had all that wonderful pizza, and we thought, well, let's try and see what we can do. But um, this is really a step up, and um, it's uh, really been a... And it's worth every penny. There you go. Uh, all right. Thank you Th for next watching. Time. Next Bye. time. Bye.